classy groomsman, classy wedding, classy car. I spent the better part of two weeks with this new Lincoln Continental, and of all the things we did together, it looked most in its element when I used it as part of a wedding day photo shoot. Just like me, the groomsmen were all big, handsome fellas wearing uncomfortable rental suits, but Continental's space, luxury, and feature content more than compensated. Just a few second glance at this car and it's clear what it's all about, delivering tremendous effortless comfort and space, whether you're on a cross-country road trip, running errands around town, or rushing around during a weekend of family wedding madness. And part of the reason why it's so comfortable is because this is a huge car, and that means it uses a great sense of space as the starting point for the easygoing luxury that defines this reincarnation of one of Lincoln's most famous machines. But actually, you start experiencing the effortless comfort before you even get inside. Sometimes it's all about the little touches, and here are two of them back here. Load your gear in before a trip, but listen. That motorized trunk is noiseless from any beep and the motor sounds like an overloaded wood planer, but not here. And then over to these door handles. Now, this is a unique styling element, but instead of pulling on a heavy handle, you just push this button. It's no more effort than clicking on a computer mouse. They even close themselves. One good friend of mine that has severe arthritis in her hand said that this might actually be her next car for that feature alone. From inside, same deal. You just click this little button and the door pops for you. Anyone can enjoy these little touches, and on board there are dozens more. Seats, for instance, they're pillowy, comfy, and heated and chilled, and they can give you a massage. If you like to stretch out one leg at a time, thigh support is adjustable on a per-leg basis. My dad, who recently got a new knee, insisted I explain how great this feature could be for someone like him as he recovers. Surrounding those seats, wood, metal, screens, buttons. It's a formal but almost playful blending of textures, finishes, and lusters one off of the other. Overall, upscale, largely convincing of the tester's big price tag, but also just that touch high tech and digitize. There's no gear shifter either since you just push these buttons instead. Here's a cabin that'll easily impress luxury aficionados, but won't leave the tech and gadget enthusiasts out in the cold. Up front, even two large adults will have room to stretch out and unwind and plenty of space to store their nearby items in one of numerous compartments. No issue staying organized and tidy on the go. In back, same thing. There's room galore. The rear seats have tons of legroom and the same luxury accoutrements as the ones up front. If treating your rear seat passengers to first class travels as a priority, you're well covered here. And back to that trunk, big, wide, deep. Even if you're on an extended length road trip for four, there should be more than enough room. There's a Revel Ultima stereo, if you'll use your new Continental as a private listening space. It's clear, punchy, vibrant, and though better high-end stereos are available in some competitors, finding new details and music tracks you've heard hundreds of times never gets old. Or maybe take in the quiet. This machine is fine-tuned and extensively engineered for serene cruising. Even at a generous clip, there's no need to raise your voice and no straining to hear your passengers. So, cruise along, getting a massage, taking in some music, and admiring the luxurious decor. It's a few cucumber slices and a clay face mask away from a day at the spa. Ride quality is brilliant. You're buying a Continental because you're concerned primarily with comfort, and that's just what you get. It doesn't wallow down the road like a giant tarmac sponge cake, and from the driver's seat, you feel carefully controlled body motions and a fantastic sense of the adaptive suspension filtering out the worst bits of the road underneath. It's creamy, velvety. Here's a car expert at quietly hovering down the road while those on board unwind, relax, and socialize. As big and comfortable as it is, it isn't overly bothered by being chucked around some fast corners, if you like. Power comes from an optional 3-liter twin-turbo V6 with horsepower and torque both pegged at 400. Off the line, this engine feels the car's weight, and it takes a moment or two before it really gets steaming ahead, but once moving, deep reserves of torque make passing and merging a breeze. There's plenty of power overall and all-wheel drive, so she's winter cruising ready. Most of the time, the powertrain is so smooth you hardly know it's there, but some random harsh gear shifting reduced the luxury factor slightly. LED headlights add comfort and confidence to after-dark travels. These are middle-of-the-line performance-wise for high-end cars in general. Good color, spread, and saturation helps reduce eye strain and provides plenty of early notice of hazards up the road, though I wish they were just a touch brighter overall. Other gripes? Nothing serious. The turning circle is fairly enormous, and the push-button shifter will take some time to get used to. So, how much? Continental starts around 57, and with all the toys and the big engine and stereo, this top dog Continental Reserve will lighten your wallet by about 80 grand. 
As such, I'd also advise you consider the Genesis G80 Sport. It's in the same comfort ballpark, a little more engaging to drive, and something like 18 grand cheaper, though lacking a few of the Lincoln's big goodies. There's also the Cadillac CT6, which has a more modern looking cabin, a more effortless powertrain, and an even better suspension setup that plays nicely for both sportiness and comfort. I'll leave you with this. At this price point, there aren't a lot of ways you can go wrong with a luxury car today, and this one hits the mark where shopper priorities include first-class treatment of rear seat passengers as well as a full suite of tech and features designed to pass hours and hours on the road with space, power, and especially comfort to spare. If you'll primarily use your new luxury sedan as a place to unwind, decompress, and socialize, and you want a car that demands virtually nothing of the driver, put this one on your test drive hit list. Thanks for watching. Thank you.